In this tutorial, I'll show you how to attach railings to stairs and floor slabs. Select the railing tool. For this project, we'll just stick with the default settings. First, I'll click on the start of the inside edge of the stair to place a railing all the way to the top. Next, I want to place a rail onto just one edge of the stairs. To do so, I'll click partway up that edge. The remaining edges of the stairs are built up against a wall, so I don't need balustrades. I double-click on the railing tool to open its settings dialog. Here, I can switch off the newels and the balustrades. I click on the corner to add the remaining railings. Let's have a look at the stair in 3D. There are now railings attached to all edges of the stairs. Moving up to the second story, we'll now attach railings to the edges of the slabs. You can see the railing on the slab does not join the railing on the stair. In 3D, this results in a gap in the railing. I'll add a short section of railing to fill the gap. Now the railing transitions seamlessly between the stairs and the slab. Finally, I'll extend the top handrail by adding a section of railing that returns to the wall. Zooming in, you can see there's a gap between the two sections of railing. Stretch the top handrail back to fill the gap. As you can see, we've now completed a fully railed staircase. 